the entrance antiphon. All that you have done to us, O Lord, you have done with true judgment. For we have sinned against you and not obeyed your commandments. But give glory to your name and deal with us according to the bounty of your mercy. The intentions of today's Holy Mass are for the intentions of Clista Fodenstil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins so we can more worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with great things that I do not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I cannot know. I had heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eye has seen you. Therefore I disown what I have said, and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the latter days of Job, more than his earlier ones. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand she-asses. And he had seven sons and three daughters, of whom he called the first Jemima, the second Keziah, and the third Karen Hapik. In all the land, no other women were as beautiful as the daughters of Job, and their father had given them an inheritance, along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years, and he saw his children, his grandchildren, and even his great-grandchildren. Then Job died old and full of years. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Lord, let your face shine on me. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Lord, let your face shine on me. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. Lord, let your face shine on me. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of your word sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The 72 disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy and nothing will harm you. 
Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and who knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. It's a pretty powerful gospel today. Um, it's one that we've kind of all heard of a couple days ago. We just we heard that <clears throat> the uh, commissioning, the sending out of the 72 to go and spread uh, the word of God, uh, to spread the gospel, the good news. And now they have all returned back to Jesus and they're saying, Lord, like, this is incredible. Like, I got the power. Okay, no, not okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Lord, that was un... That was, but the thing that I think is most important that we have to realize, and even myself I've kind of missed, um, is that the very last part, the very last part of what Christ says to them in response, he says, I gave you this power, but don't rejoice because you have the power over demons. Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Rejoice because you are in the family of God. You have been brought into this kingdom. And that is what we should rejoice in. Yes, we have this power over Satan. We have a power over him because of Christ who defeated him first. But that's just a byproduct of that love. What is most that we should most rejoice in is that our names are written in heaven and how glorious that is. How wonderful that is. So today, um, do so. Rejoice that our names are written in heaven. Um, Tomorrow is is a a huge day uh, for all of our names to be written in a special way. Uh, Here as members of St. Catherine, the dedication of our new church. What a beautiful, wonderful, exciting, holy, amazing day that is. And we get to rejoice in it all the more, again, because your names are written. Your names are written in heaven. So rejoice, rejoice always that the Lord loves you and loves you deeply and has called you by name. So now brothers and sisters, let us stand together. Longing to see God's face, we turn to God who reveals himself to us in love with our needs and petitions. For all members of the church, may each one of us be filled with faith as we live out our mission to share Christ's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For civic leaders, may they be given the grace to be instruments of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who struggle with doubt, who long to see what the disciples saw, may they be strengthened by God's infinite love Let us pray to the Lord. For this community, may we taste and see God's goodness in the Eucharist and so be empowered to carry out the mission entrusted to us. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died. May they rest in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, you come to us in our struggles. We entrust these needs to you, remembering that you can do all things through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as the Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Remember your word to your servant, O Lord, by which you have given me hope. This is my comfort when I am brought low.
Please join me in praying the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Eucharist. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united, whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.